Um, back to Chair Norton then for finance. Okay. Agenda item 12.2, R277-463, class size average and pupil teacher. Motion for the board. The committee moves that the board repeal R277-463, class size average and pupil teacher ratio reporting on second and final reading. Member Boggess. I'd like to make a substitute motion. motion. Okay. That we approve R277-463 as amended. <clears throat> and I can speak to the motion. Is there a second to that? And do we know as amended by, by what? What's the amendment that's been? I sent it earlier. Um, okay, so you're moving an amendment that's already been sent around. Could you read the amendment into the? Uh, yes, so the, the purpose of the repeal was to alleviate local LEA um, responsibilities. I did send this to you guys earlier. Yes, you haven't seen it? I'll forward it. You already did. Is it? Um, it's just, it's minor, minor changes. Let me come into my So this is items. a repeal of a, of a rule, correct? Mm -hmm. So I sent it to Greg Connell, Connell. And who does it need to go to? Uh, ben. So member, member Boggess, could you describe the motion to us just so we understand that the, the underlying motion is to repeal a rule what would be the effect of the amendment while they're pulling up the specific language? Um, of sorry, sorry, the substitute motion. Thank so you. the effect would be um, the it, the alleviation of local uh, reporting would still be in effect, but the the effect of the repeal is local access to the information without a grandma request, and so this would move the the responsibility of reporting that data from the local entity to the state. And then all it asks of the LEA is to produce a link to that information on their website. So would this be to create a new rule in place of the rule that's being repealed or to only partially repeal the underlying rule rather than completely? There, there's just, it would, it would just be um, an amended rule in lieu of repealing. There's just minor changes okay. in language. So instead of an LEA, it says the superintendent. Um, and then at the very end, there's some red language, and that is the substantive part. So in let, section six. Okay, so we're so rather than repealing the rule, you would be keeping the rule and amending the rule, revising the rule. Yes, and the the substantive part of that is right there at the end, um, where it takes all of the reporting out of the hands of the LEA takes it into the state agency. And all I'm asking the LEA to do is to report the aggregated data on those websites, or, or no, the state would do that. And then the LEA needs to post a link to those websites um, on their institutional and LEA websites as it corresponds to the same. So is, is, this, um, is this framed up accurately on the screen then? What what you'd like to keep and what you'd like to revise? Yes, Chair. So anything that I wanted to strike is struck. And there are minor changes where um, the the words and LEA are, have been stricken and they have been changed to the superintendent. And um, and then the the reporting is all done by the state. It's put on the two state websites. And then the LEAs just are expected to post a link to that. And to be clear, the purpose of this is that um, at the local level, the public should not have to file a grammar request for such simple information. And that is my biggest concern is that this is important information that the public should have access to and they shouldn't have to, to go that route to get it. All right, thank you. Um, was that seconded? Yes. It was, Member Green seconded, okay. So that motion is on the floor, yes. Member Vice Chair Earl. I'd like to make a motion that this is sent back to committee for consideration. There's just not enough time to consider that, I think, tonight. So, what? Is there a second to that? Second. Second from Member Wood. Any discussion to that motion? My, uh, my, Member Davis? Well, I, I don't think I would send it back to committee because if I'm remembering right, the reason it's being repealed is because it's not needed anymore because that something changed in the requirements. 
So my recollection was that the funds that the class size funds here, we don't we don't use the funds for that purpose anymore. We we support right. the, we support the programs in different manners. I think. But, so there's nothing to consider if it goes back to committee. So the procedurally, the rule is no longer connected to a funding source. The recommendation coming out of committee was to repeal it for that reason. Member Bogus's motion would keep it in place. Does that information change the nature of your motion to keep the rule in effect and amend it? Well, my understanding coming out of committee was that should this be repealed, there's no like, like physical report that comes out about this data. And my, my greatest concern is that people should not have to file a grammar request or call their state agency for, for teacher pupil ratios. Okay. So and, and so my, my point would be, even if we remove or amend the rule to remove some of that language that it's not tied to code, that's fine. But I do think we need a, a, a what's the word, a, a strategy in place so that people don't have to go searching for that information or file a grammar request. Got it. Okay. So, so your motion survives the lack of connection to the underlying funding program. And so you keep the motion. We have a motion then to send that back to committee for consideration, which could include the question of whether it's still necessary, what it would relate to no, vice chair Hart. Um, I just wouldn't um, deputy Stallings wouldn't, wouldn't we want to write a different rule then for that rather than have a dangling kind of r rule? Wouldn't it be more That's, advantageous to, to write a rule for that? And I, I think uh, Vice Chair Hart, what you're getting at is as staff, we're all trying to think through how this would work with the rule and what the implications are. So I it would be helpful for us to have a little bit more time to look at it, I apologize. We didn't get the motion, and um, because it's okay, just so you know, Greg Canal generally doesn't um, draft rules, so he's not as familiar with maybe that something that might look like a motion really needs to be much more comprehensive. Whereas Ben and I, had we seen the request, we probably would have understood that it needed more work and had it prepared in time. So. Anyway, just in, in the future, no, it's, if it's a no, rule it's, it's, amendment, just wanted you to know that we're the two to get it to, and we'll be better about communicating. But we'd be happy to work on that rule. Could okay. So what would the appropriate so, do we with? Well, if it's sent back to committee, the, the motion pending is to send it to committee, which if passed could con con include this consideration of everything that's just been discussed, right? So. Any Correct. further discussion to the motion to send it back to committee? I don't, we, we, we already have, we do, from my understanding, have this information already. So people are either going to have to grammar request it from us or they're going to have to grammar request it from their local LEA to find their amounts. But even if the extra step of the LEA is reporting another report to us, they don't do the extra step. My understanding is based on funding, Scott Jones is saying we still have the data anyway. Okay. Yeah, Chair, if I may. Yes, please. I mean, we, we still have the report. We still can prepare the reports. We still have that data. It's just, you, you know, doing away with the rule, just we can, we'll be able to push and pull data. So if they grandma us or they grandma, the let, we can easily provide that information. So class size reduction funding is not, it's, it's more of sustainment funding now. Right. I mean, it's not precisely used to say, OK, how much of this reduced the class? I do that. I, I mean, it's just is what it is. We grew so much. Things could change, obviously, with our enrollment counts. But I, I don't see us missing any opportunity here to provide the, the reports. Right. The, the data, you know, however, however, we're, we're looking to do that. So and quick follow up. Okay. I agree with member Bogus. This this data is important. I mean, we, we need to know our, our teachers. Yeah, we don't ratios, lose the data, by but I think we the have rule. it still. Yeah. OK, so the motion. Chair, on the if floor. I may. Yes. I just to speak very quickly. My concern is not that we don't have the data. My concern is that it's not readily available to the public without a grammar request. And I don't think that the public should have to file a grammar request for the data. And so what I'm asking 
is and sending this back to committee, I'm in full support of, but what I'm asking is the date that the state prepare that data, that they put it on their websites, and all we're asking LEAs to do in this amended rule is to post links to the state website on their institutional and LEA websites in a very clear and transparent way. All right, so just to reiterate the, 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 the motions that are before the body. The underlying motion is to repeal the rule. Member, ba Member Bogus' motion is to, instead of repealing, maintain the rule and revise it as stated here. The motion currently pending is to send that question and the related questions back to the Finance Committee for consideration. So that's, that's the sequence with the motion before the body then is to send back to Finance Committee. All in favor, please raise your hand. Five. Seven, that motion fails. The motion then before the body is member Bogus's motion, rather than repealing the rule to maintain and revise the rule as presented up on the screen. Any further discussion of that motion? So, well, I think that is now, the rule that is currently in effect would be repealed by the underlying motion. Member Bogus's motion would keep it in effect and revise it as stated on the screen. So that's that's the current that doesn't work. question. I don't it think. it may not work, but that's that's okay. the that's the question. Yes, Member Lear. I agree with her concern. Wouldn't they make a substitute motion? That the the rule that the idea for this rule is sent to leadership to direct staff to come up with a different rule. Isn't that what you're wanting well, to we, do? We, we, we could, all right, no substitute. So we have before the body, thank you. All right, if there are concerns about the motion, then you can vote that way. If you approve the motion, sorry? I can't substitute. No. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, Member <laughs> Bogus's substitute motion is on the floor. The motion is rather than to repeal, to maintain the rule and revise as stated on the screen. All in favor, please raise your hand. Oh, that's dumb, Christine. <laughs> Anyone? Okay, that motion fails. And we return to the underlying motion out of finance, which was to repeal rule. Um, R277-463 on second and final reading. Any final discussion of that motion? But I don't, if, <coughs> let me try again. <laughs> um, is, so is there any way to, do we just say that this idea is preserved and leadership will ask can, if you them? Right. We'll Somebody ask could the request that. There There's other ways to request it. Oh, okay. Right. This All would right. repeal the underlying rule, whatever three concept three members right. are interested in yes. so all right all right That's so good. i just didn't want to lose the thought so yeah. motion before the body was to repeal r277-463 on second and final reading all in favor please raise your hand any opposed that motion passes unanimously okay a no there were two no's i couldn't see hands i'm sorry folks i'm, I'm looking for hands did you guys get? You got no. Okay. Well, I don't know. I should have on she voted. I voted. Tall hands. You gotta, All right. I'm, you I'm looking for hands. hands. We got to get this them up is there. Clear to the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. I no, think we got no, it no, now. No, we just. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Right. All right. So that motion passes with two nays. Back Agenda to item. Chair Norton. Agenda item 12.4, R277-600, Student Transportation Standards and Procedures. The motion for the board is, the committee moves that the board approve R277-600, Student Transportation Standards and Procedures, draft one on second and final reading. Member Lear. Um, I can't see your light, but know, Vice Chair Hart can. Still doing that thing. Oh, um, I have a question, to, and it's to staff, I think. Angie, maybe because the transportation people aren't here. Starting on line uh, 73, it uses LEA 
shall record all student transportation costs and then an LEA shall maintain line 75. Shouldn't that be school district because, or district because, because charters don't have transportation costs. And I don't wanna nitpick, but it could be important. And maybe I'm wrong. Well, this is a question for Deputy Jones or Assistant Superintendent Jacobson. Do we still have that small or rural oh, charter we, school transportation funding? Yes. Can so there, there, the screen? there is some, Board Member Earl, there are some funds, state funds that do go to charter schools in rural areas. For transportation. transportation. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. That happened a couple of years ago. Just had that, I had that question. We're, we're trying to, we're double checking to make sure that that program is it's, still it's in sort place. sort of a non sub change, so. Can Ron answer the question online? Oh. Is he on Zoom? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Poor Ron. Ron. Where's that? Where's that? So I'll the, have to check. The chair, the, the chair of the Pupil Transportation Specialist is online if you want to call on him. Okay, who? I'll maybe sit Ron Litchfield. There he is. There we go. Uh, thank you for joining us. So You're muted, though. Can you hear me now? Yeah. There we go. Okay. I'm Ron Litchfield, the transportation specialist for the State Board of Education. And yes, we do have one, the Rural Transportation Reimbursement Grant, which we do have one charter that does okay. qualify for transportation funding. Thank you. Great. That's... <laughs> We're good. That's all. I, I just had a question. <laughs> Go, Kristen. <laughs> all right. Any other discussion? They are way too much fun. <laughs> this is. We got. We we should just start at five. We should start at five going forward. All right. Any any other discussion of the motion? Sorry, no. Member Norton. Any other discussion to the motion? If not, we have an actual wave going. If not, all those in favor, please raise your hand. All, all opposed? One, one opposed? Am I missing something? Okay. All right, back to... Wow, back to Chair Norton. Did we pull 11.7? I think we're on 12.8. Okay. Um, or, no, 12.7, but. Number 12.7, approve small action district capital project, panel projects, panel projects. <laughs> Whoops. Over 2 million. Motion for the board. So. The committee moves that the board approve the Small School District Capital Projects Fund, fiscal year 23, panel recommendations. But Question for Deputy got, Jones. Oh. Sorry. I think we should have a substitute motion to send it back to committee. I don't know. Do we need a motion to send this back to committee? I so moved. Okay. Um, there's some change in I'll legislation second. and funding and so uh, that's why we are moving that it goes back to committee until the legislature finishes up this matter. Okay, oh. that was a substitute motion. Then. Second. It's been seconded. Member Wood. When, when you take it back, can, I, I'd just love to know why the Mona one wasn't approved. So if someone wants to take go offline sometime and tell me why the panel didn't approve the last, the, the small one. Okay, thanks. Yes. Okay. So the motion is to send this item back to the finance committee. All in favor, please raise your hand. Any opposed? 
That motion passes unanimously. Okay, 12.8, correction to teacher and student success act, sorry, account TSSA distribution, fiscal year 2022 mid-year update. The motion before the board is the committee moves that the board approve the use of available unrestricted one-time funds to hold the LEAs that had their TSSA allocations adjusted downward harmless for state fiscal year 2020 through 2022. Okay, any member comments or questions to that motion? Member Bogus. Just for a point of clarity, um, I believe you said 2020 to 2022 and- no, 2020 through 2022. It, the motion on the board just says fiscal year 2022. It's been updated. In the, in the meeting, in our meeting, uh, Chief Auditor Davis asked us to change it uh, to 2020 through 2022 as all three years were updated. Correct? Thank you, ma'am. Okay. There are no further questions or comments. Uh, the motion is that the board approves the use of available unrestricted one-time funds to hold harmless the LEAs that had their TSSA allocations adjusted downward for state fiscal years 2020 to 2022. All in favor, please raise your hand. Thank you. Any opposed? That motion passes unanimously. Back to Member Norton, Chair Norton. Agenda item 12.9, R277-407, school fees amendment. <laughs> oh, is this yours? Barely. The board, sorry, motion for the board is the committee moves that the board approve staff sorry. to work with the legislators to amend Utah code provisions related to group fundraising as stated above. Question or comment, uh, Member Davis. Oh, I thought I had to make that amendment. Oh. You do. Oh, this one, this one's, this is this one. Everyone vote for this. <laughs> You've been told. We need to fix it. Okay. I Any oh, sorry. further member Bogus? Your lights I'm on. so sorry. It's late, Chair. I apologize. I would just support um, member Davis's assertion that, that we need to support reframing this read whatever the language is it's just we need to support this please okay the motion is that the board approves staff to work with the legislator to amend utah code provisions related to group fundraising am i stating the motion correctly all right all those in favor please raise your hand any opposed raise hands now I have another amendment. That passes unanimously. Member Davis. I move that we postpone passing R277404 until after the legislature votes on the new code. 407? 407. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Okay. The motion is that we postpone action on R277-407 to the board's full March meeting after the legislative sessions concluded. Any discussion of that motion? All in favor, please raise your hand. Any opposed? Oh, does that, uh, I, sorry? I said until after legislation has been passed because it may not be ready for March, but it will be sometime after legislation. Okay, technical correction. Okay. Um, Okay, does that conclude the finance report? That concludes the finance report. Any other comments, musical performances, or constitutional amendments? Okay, looking for a final motion. Um, we are going to postpone. I... We are postponing executive session till tomorrow. Oh. No. Not instead. No, we, here's, we, we've, we plan to address USDB executive session and then go into our study session. The study session will be flexible. We did have some, a number of members request items that are important because they're process items as we move through our committee work. So we didn't wanna push that off, but we plan to address those three items, USDB um, executive session items and the study session. 